हाई गाइस आई अभिनव नेगी वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस स्पेशल एपिसोड ऑफ संडे का फंडा लास्ट वन मंथ हैज बीन वेरी चैलेंजिंग टू नॉर्दर्न इंडिया स्पेशली हिमाचल प्रदेश एंड उत्तराखंड मोर देन थ्री हंड्रेड पीपल हैव बीन डाइड इन द लैंड स्लाइड्स एंड द सब्सिडेंस ऑफ दीज सिटीज अर्लियर दिस ईयर जोशीमठ हैज सफर्ड फ्रॉम द सेम नेचुरल डिजास्टर्स to begin with let me tell you in my own village in my own hometown you can see the pictures behind me a large amount of destructions have been done by the rainfall and the landslides which has stopped or which has disconnected the people in my village from the nearby cities and might be in next 20 30 days many people are disconnected or the highways are disconnected specially now let me tell you that himalay is the youngest mountain in this world due to which the various tectonic plates the activities the seismic zone and the landslides are occurring in these states himachal pradesh and uttarakhand if we see them combinedly then they occupy 18% of the geographical area of our country but more than 40% landslides have occurred in these two states according to a mishra committee report back in 1976 they have said that many of these cities especially joshimat is sitting on a very soft glacier at any time when that glacier that is in the base of joshimat move from one place to another might be the huge subsidence may take place guys many of these buildings infrastructure are built on very steep slopes some of the steep slopes are as high as 60 degree and you know that the factor of safety reduces when the slope angle is high that is why many of the buildings which have collapsed are due to this region only earlier in 1995 a report was there that there should not be any construction in shimla and some of other cities where the slope angle is more than 40 degree and unfortunately in last many years the municipal corporation the concerned authorities have neglected this fact and many of the constructions are done even with higher slope that makes the life in danger guys i'm not warming this i'm not warning this but this is a alarm that might be in future if the huge subsidence takes place then even higher destruction or a higher magnitude of destruction may take place as a civil engineer what are the solutions these all things we are discussing till now are the problems but where are the solutions number 1 stop constructing any other building any other infrastructure from immediate effect number 2 geo stabilization the strengthening of soil or providing the reinforcement through soil either by geo textile geo membrane geo grid anything should be done number 3 even after stopping the construction even after providing reinforcement to the soil there will be many slopes especially which are at higher slope angle than 40 degree they should be evacuated guys if all these things are happened let me tell you that nobody no civil engineer can assure you that nothing will be happening because nature is above all these things but yes one thing we can assure that all these activities all these natural disasters will be reduced by a significant amount my own village is suffering from this from last 30 days the only road which is connected my village from the city has been thrashed out in the landslide as a result at present that is 23rd august i am recording this video if any of my villager wants to go to nearby city might be hospital school anything they are disconnected either they have to travel from the rivers or from the landslide but there is no vehicular movement there is no road that they can travel and railways have never been there also one more thing guys why this all these activities are more happening in the rainy seasons the reason being as the rain water comes pore water pressure increases effective stress decreases 
effective stress decreases means the contact force between the particle between the soil particle decreases and as a result they are more prone to the shear failure because effective stress decreases the shear strength has been decreased the contact force has been decreased that is why all these activities are happening in larger magnitude especially in the rainy season i hope you got the understanding of the cause of all these things plus the solution also that i told you in this video from whole byju's exam prep team we wish all the citizens there a very safe life ahead and as a responsible citizen i it is my appeal to the government to take proper safety measures and guidelines and follow the guidelines thank you take care hello guys welcome again in the special episode of sunday ka fanda now this time from studio let me quickly tell you about the causes and the safety measures once again guys i have done my mtech from iit delhi in geotechnical engineering only and let me tell you guys my mtech project was also on landslides there was a site pagla jora in or near 230 km from the darling i was there in my fourth semester i have taken the samples from there analyzed the site there and then in the iit delhi geotechnical lab i have performed the testing on them trigel direct shear and there are many other tests also okay guys then there is a slope w software for landslides na there is a slope w software i worked on this slope w what is this slope w software it is uh, a software in which first of all we have to provide the coordinates of our landslides okay for the pagla jora sites my guide has given me the coordinates so you have to provide the coordinates and then when you provide the coordinates the site will be formed like this then certain inputs have to be provided like c phi that i found in the lab gamma found in the lab gamma saturated okay water table fluctuation there are certain tests certain inputs have to be provided and then we press the enter button it gives the factor of safety for various regions here 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 everywhere it gives the factor of safety now let me just quickly tell you the causes of this guys geological settling most of these cities like joshimath earlier was in glacier and shimla and all these and high seismic zone activities either they are over a glacier or they are over a tectonic fault okay that is why the sinking is there or geological settling is there i already told you many times sigma bar is equal to sigma minus u when the rain comes pore water pressure increases sigma bar decreases sigma bar decreases means strength decreases that is why there are more landslides in rainy season only due to this the v poles are made you have seen the retaining walls and some v poles are there so they are crying yes literally they are crying in so that this should not increase water should come out and when this is not increasing so this will not be decreasing the strength is not decreasing topography of the region guys okay always we know that the factor of safety is propo inversely proportional to tan beta as the slope angle is more okay as the suppose this is a site here the slope angle is less so it is having uh, high factor of safety here the slope angle is more so more slope angle means factor of safety will be less so it depends on topography of the region as well now deforestation ओके जड़ ने पेड़ सॉइल को मजबूत बांध के रखा था विद डीफॉरेस्टेशन दिस इज वन ऑफ द मेजर कॉज इन हिमाचल प्रदेश इन लास्ट डेकेड मोर देन हंड्रेड हेक्टेयर्स ऑफ द फॉरेस्ट हैव बीन कट डाउन ओके दैट इज व्हाई द स्ट्रेंथ हैज बीन रिड्यूस्ड ड्रास्टिकली ह्यूमन एक्टिविटीज सच एज टर्लिंग माइनिंग कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑन हाई स्लोप्स दैट इज वन ऑफ द रीजन ओके माइनिंग बिकॉज नॉट ओनली लोडिंग इज द प्रॉब्लम द सॉइल समटाइम्स रिमूविंग द लोड इज ऑल्सो द प्रॉब्लम लाइक इन यू हैव सीन वन ईयर बैक the ntpc project has been there near uh, landslide in uttarakhand and that was a heavy project and tunnel is made so nearby people are saying in, in joshimat nearby people are saying because they have constructed ntpc or nhpc the huge tunnel due to this the soil becomes a uh, large void is created due to which the settling is there okay climate change is one of the reason as global warming is there so on the top of the himalayas the ice is melting that is coming down that increases the water table and again when it increases the water table so sigma bar will be sigma bar will be decreasing okay poor urban planning construction on the high steep construction on the soils which are having lesser value of cohesion and friction angle okay and soil erosion natural events like earthquake are only making worse these things now guys taking about the solutions of course before construction 
the geological investigation of that area should be done the factor of safety should be taken and also the water tables should be checked and guys the construction should not be done on that case suppose a Kanadi engineer, a new engineer is doing the construction on the basis of data that he found in the month of March. But for landslides, the most prone area or most dangerous month is monsoon when poor water pressure is very high. So the fluctuation should be taken. Okay, vegetation management can be done properly so that we can strengthen some weak areas. Okay, urban planning and infrastructure management. We should plan or we should make certain areas fit for constructions and we should make certain areas not fit for construction depending on slope angle, depending upon the soil strength, depending upon the cohesion, depending upon the friction angle and all these things. Okay, so this should be done. Okay, early warning system should be done. Guys, when I made the video on uh, Joshimut, that time you I have, I have told you that in there in houses by the national disaster management cross is put that means those houses are not fit for living there and the same thing has been done in Uttarakhand and Himachal Pradesh this time also apart from that building in which the people were live present there and the whole building collapsed due to landslide okay yes we that one incidence happened but most of the times the cross mark has to be put or it is put by the national disaster management okay climate change is there due to climate change guys we have to suppose ice is melting and the water is coming groundwater table is coming so we have to make certain drain pipes so that that water table fluctuation or high water table rise should be avoided okay so i hope guys you enjoyed this sunday ka funda video keep sharing this and like the session and do comment me that according to you of course, this is a combination of this is a combination of man-made and natural disaster both. Okay, soil is the weak there, and uh, of course, the unauthorized construction has been done. I'm not asking that is it man-made or is it natural. I want it is both. I want your answers that how much percentage out of hundred you think it is man-made and disaster. That somebody can write seventy percent natural and thirty percent man-made. Okay, somebody can write 60% the reason is natural thing and 40% is man-made. Somebody can write 90% is man-made and 10% is natural. That ratio I want to see from all of you in the comment box. You can also join me in my telegram group. Civil by Abhinav Sir guys. Thank you. Take care. Thank you all.